Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be walking you through all the steps of setting up a streamer node on a Windows 10 PC. So let's take a look. So what is Streamer? Streamer is a peer-to-peer -peer platform that allows users to tokenize data. This is gonna be useful in IoT environments where devices can gather information about the surrounding environment and turn around that data and monetize it. The data itself can be stored on community-owned nodes. And this is another way that you can own crypto by hosting a node. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We'll be setting up a Streamer node on a Windows 10 PC. And for more details on the project, what I'll do is I'll link the white paper in the description below so you can do a deep dive if that interests you. To set up a node, there's a few things that we're gonna need. So let's take a look at the minimum requirements. So we're doing a Windows setup. So you're gonna need a Windows 10 or Windows 11, 64-bit version of Windows Home, Professional, Enterprise, or Education, and they need to be fully updated. You'll need the WSL2 installed on Windows 10 or 11. Your computer should be a 64-bit processor with a second level address translation, four gigs of RAM, and virtualization needs to be enabled in the BIOS. Here are the steps to install the node. First, we're gonna be installing Docker. Then we're gonna install and configure the node. We'll have to set up MetaMask and import a private key for that node. Then we're gonna take some Matic tokens and swap it for data tokens. The data token is the main token that will be used for the streamer network. Once we have our data token, we're gonna go ahead and stake it. And then once we have all that done, we'll verify the node is online. For everything that we'll be doing, there'll be links in the description below, as well as timestamps to help you jump back and forth or pause it in certain areas as you're walking through the steps. So I'll do my best to answer any questions that you might have, and you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you find this guide useful, you can do me a favor by smashing that like button. What it does is it helps you reach as many users as possible, and I greatly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and set up a streamer node Mode. So here we are at the Windows 10 desktop. And the first thing that we want to make sure is that virtualization is already enabled. So what we want to do is right click on the taskbar and go to task manager. When you click on task manager, we're going to click on the performance tab. And right over here under virtualization, it says enabled. Now, if you don't have virtualization enabled, you need to do this at the BIOS level. So when you reboot your computer, you have to hit something like F1 or F10 or whatever your computer system requires. And then you go into the BIOS and then you want to enable virtualization like I'm showing you here and on a Dell PC as an example. Now, once you have that enabled, you reboot your computer and you can go back into your task manager and you should now see that the virtualization option is enabled. So let's close out of this window. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and install Docker. And we're gonna open up our browser. I'm gonna be putting this URL in the description below. This is to download the Docker for Windows 10. It'll also work with Windows 11. So we scroll down a bit here and you can see that we have the option to download Docker. Click on that and it'll download here. It's about 500 megs. So I'll go ahead and I'll open that up. We get a user control prompt. We can just click on yes. And now it's gonna download the package and begin the installation phase. This will take a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add a desktop shortcut just to make it easier. And we wanna make sure that this option is enabled because we require this. So use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V and then click on okay. Okay, the installation is now complete. We can just click on close. And you can see over here on our desktop, we have the Docker icon. We'll just double click on the icon to open up the window. And what we need to do is accept the service agreement in order for us to proceed. So we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, check the box and then select accept. And now Docker is starting up and we get an option over here to go through the tutorial. Uh, you don't have to go through this. You can actually just select this option over here to skip the tutorial. And we have no containers running right now. In order to get started with running a default container, you can go ahead and do this. I definitely recommend doing updates first. At the main screen over here, you can see that in the left hand corner, we have a engine running and it's green. If you see this red or orange and it's not lit up green, you probably need to update your WSL kernel. So what you can do is I'll make sure I link this in the description below. This is directly from Microsoft and you can go ahead and download the latest package. You just have to click on the link. It'll download it. It's about 16 megs in size. And then we can click on that and open it up. And it's just going to install this uh, kernel update package. So that's already done. And we click on finish. And that's an additional step. Now, you may not have to do this step at all, but it's definitely required if you're installing some nodes. And I can just minimize this window and we're good to go. So now that we have everything installed, I'm going to quickly just restart my computer. I notice I have issues with Windows 10 after installing Docker. So it's a good idea to just restart reboot your system. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay. And the computer's booted back up. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And here we are at the desktop. I'm just going to load up Docker again, make sure it's running fine. Okay. So here we are inside Docker. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And now I'm going to open up PowerShell. 
Okay, when you open up PowerShell, you want to make sure you run it as administrator. Say yes to the prompt. There we go. And now we want to create a directory for our node. I already have one created, so I'm going to get an error message, but you do want to follow this step because we're going to be pointing to it in just a moment. You can see I got the error message that already exists. And next, what we want to do is we're going to be running the configuration wizard. Okay, so now it wants to know if you want to create a new private key or an existing one. We want to create a new one. So we're going to select the first option, which is generate. Uh, if you click on down, it'll select import. We're not importing. We're going to generate a new one. So I'm going to hit enter. And it says that we strongly recommend backing up your private key. So this is your single line of defense. You want to make sure that you keep this private and do not share it. You can type in Y for yes, and then hit enter. And there is your private key. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy and paste this in a safe spot. Okay. So now I have it saved. And we can go ahead and do the next step here, uh, which is it wants to know which plugins do you want to enable? So you can hit space to select each one, or you can just type in A and that'll toggle to all. And then you hit enter. So I'm gonna be hitting A and then I'm gonna hit enter. And now it's gonna go ahead and install all the plugins. So for the first one, it wants to enable a port. It's 7170, that's the default one. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And then it has a port for the next one, which is 1883. I'm okay with that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And the last one is 7171, which is okay. And I'll hit enter. And it wants to know if you want to participate in mining or staking, just hit Y for yes, and then hit enter. So now it wants to select a path which is giving us a default one to store all the configuration files. That folder is fine with me, so I can go ahead and hit enter. So it's given us a name. Uh, mine is Nut Vendor Soldier, and it's also given us a link for the URL. Now this is to check out the status of it. If you go to it immediately, it probably won't update right away. You might have to give it some time for it to populate in the database, and then you'll be able to see where you are on a map. So these two things you're probably going to also want to save. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all this information and I'm going to copy and paste it into a safe place. Okay. And the next step to do is get our node running. So we're going to just clear the screen again here. Okay. And now we want to run our node. So we're going to be pasting in this line and then hit enter. So as you see this, it's up and running, it's connected. We don't have any error message. Everything seems to be fine right now. And we'll just let it run through its process. So now in order to accumulate rewards, we have to stake something. And what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna be installing MetaMask and we'll be importing our private key that we had already saved at the beginning of this video. And we'll be buying some data tokens and staking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna minimize this. And I'm gonna open up my browser here and I'm at the MetaMask website. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this by clicking on the download button over here. I'm using Chrome, so I'm gonna select Chrome and we'll scroll down a little bit further here and install MetaMask. Add it to Chrome, click on add extension, and there we go. So we have our MetaMask wallet installed. So I'll click on get started. So now if you already have a MetaMask wallet, you can import your wallet, but if you're starting from scratch, we're gonna click on create a new wallet and then we can say, I agree, and we give it a password here. And then we can select the terms of use and then click on create. And now it's talking about securing a wallet. So it's gonna give you a secret phrase. You wanna make sure that you keep this in a secure location. And then what you're gonna do is repeat it back. And we have the MetaMask wallet all set up and ready to go. So we'll click on that and we can just close out of this. And here is our wallet. To stake streamer, we need to make sure that we're on the Polygon network. And by default, the Polygon network is not here. So we have to add that network. And here are the settings for the Polygon mainnet. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that in and I'll be adding a new network and I'll paste it in over here. Okay, and now we have all the information added in here, so we can click on save, and we've already switched over here to the Polygon network. So now what we wanna do is we wanna import an account, and that's gonna be the private key that we had already set up. Now, if you don't have that readily available and you're trying to figure out where it is, you can just open up your Windows directory, and you can go on your C drive, and then under users, uh, your username should be here. This PC is called virtual, so I'm gonna open that up. And then you can see the streamer Docker folder here. So double click on that, and then you have a config folder, which should be the only folder, double click on that. And then here's your default file, and you can just open up notepad and you can just drag and drop it in. So when you drag and drop it in, you can see that your private key is right over here. Just have to highlight that and copy it like so and then close out of that, minimize that and go in here and you can import the account now. So we're going to select on the import option and it's going to ask for a private key. I'm going to go ahead and put in a private key over here and then we're going to select import and there we go. 
So now we have our second account in here. Now you don't really have to use the first account. The second account is the one that we want and it has all our information in here as well as the address up here at the top. And we can go ahead and buy some Matic and swap it in. The data token is the token that's being used by Streamer and we wanna make sure that we import it. Uh, so we're gonna click on the import over here and we have to get the token address. So this is the data token right over here and it's for the streamer. I'm gonna make sure I include this in the description below. It's a link directly to the Polygon scan. All we have to do is copy this address. And when we go back over to MetaMask and we put in the contract address, it'll automatically populate the other fields. So the token symbol is data and the decimals is 18. And then we're good to go. We click on the add token button and then import tokens. So I have nothing in here right now. What I need to do is I need to send some tokens to this address and uh, I'll just go back over to my main account. And you can see over here, we have the Matic and the data token. And what I'll have to do is just send some Matic to this address. Now you can buy Matic from a lot of different exchanges. So I'm just gonna send some Matic to this wallet and then I'll be able to convert it to data and then we can have that staked. So I'll just be back in one second here while I do that. Okay, so I just transferred 56 Matic to my wallet in my MetaMask. And what I can do now is swap for it. So I'm gonna go over to Quick Swap. I'm gonna connect my wallet, select MetaMask. All right, so it sees my balance of 56. So I'm gonna swap for a thousand data tokens. Uh, I'm not doing the full amount because you have to account for some fees in this transaction. So that should be fine. If you scroll down a bit here, the fees will be 0.3199 Matic, and it's gonna be converting it to USDC before it goes to data. So we can go ahead and click on the swap button right now. Just let that update, okay. And then we can confirm the swap and we just have to let our MetaMask wallet confirm this as well. Click on confirm and there we go. So that is done. We can close it and we'll just wait till that gets completed. Okay, it looks like it's been complete. We'll go to assets and there we go. So we have a thousand data now in here in our MetaMask wallet. This wallet has linked with our node. So it should automatically populate in our node as well. I'm just gonna restart this. So what I'll do is I'll just go in here. Okay, so all these are stopped. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the streamer broker right now. There we go, it's stopped. Okay, and now we're just gonna restart it. So I'm gonna close out a PowerShell. I had actually stopped it in here as well, so that's good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boot it back up. So I'm gonna open up PowerShell again. So we're just gonna paste back in the line that we did last time to get it started and let it load up. There we go, it's booting back up. Okay, and that's gonna load up here. And what we can do is we can check out the status of our node by copying the URL right over here, paste in the address and then hit enter. And it should show my location now. So it has me in Ontario. We see some traffic actually going through right now. So it looks like we're good. It's live and it's up and running. And the stats over here lets you know that there's 3,300 nodes. The APY currently is 30, 137%. This will fluctuate. It depends on how many nodes are online. You're sharing the in total amount. Um, and the total lock value right now is 21.5 million data tokens. Okay, so we just confirmed that we're up and running. Our node is online and we can see everything in here. Now to track your rewards and see uh, how much you have staked, to confirm that you have everything staked, you're just gonna open up a browser here and I'll make sure I link this in the description as well. Uh, this is going to be the main site that you're gonna want to go to uh, to connect your MetaMask wallet with the account that we had just imported. Uh, so we're gonna go over here and click on connect. And so the second account is the one that we have. The first one was just the default one. The second account here is the one that we uh, imported everything into. So we have that selected and then click on next and then click on connect. Okay, you don't get a prompt, but it looks like it's connected right now. Let's just double check. Okay, so we are connected to the site right now. And if we select this option over here for profile, it's gonna show our specific account. So I'm gonna scroll down a bit here and it gives us an overview of what we have. And you can see under staked, there is the 1000 data tokens I have. I have no rewards, I've just had this started up. Uh, received rewards, everything is zero right now. This will populate over a period of time. And if you go down a bit, it lets you know what the current network APY is and APR, and it's all broken down over here. So if we scroll back up here again, under nodes, you can see how many nodes you have. I only have one right now. Uh, but it's all listed. Uh, you want to definitely bookmark this page so you can quickly get access to it from your desktop if you're not running your node on the same PC. This is running on an extra computer that I have. Uh, so by going to this dashboard and connecting my MetaMask wallet, I can always check on the status of it and just making sure everything is up and running and it's fine. You can also give it a name right over here and call it whatever you want. Uh, just so as you're running multiple nodes, you can refer to each one individually over here. 
And that's it. So we have our node up and running on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. A lot of the information I got is from my friends over at the Sleep Money Club. Uh, we have a group in here, a specific one just for streamer. And there's a lot of people just talking about this specific topic. Uh, so there's a lot of discussions when things change. And if you run into a little bit of an issue, a lot of helpful people I want to give a shout out to Low Nut and LT, who's mod on the Sleep Money Club. I'll be updating my guides as we go along. I'm expecting a lot of updates on the streamer network. And I'll keep you posted as it happens. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.